Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the method over writing. Let us suppose that we are having two classes. One is class A and second one is class B. Class B is inheriting the class A. That means all the properties and methods of class A are coming into the class B. Now we suppose that in the class A we are having some method. Let us suppose that method or the function that is func. So this is one function or the method available in class A. Similar. same method is also available into the class b the derived class is having the same name method with same parameters and same type of parameter then that is called the method overriding here the derived class method can reimplement reimplement means provides its own definition to the function so here this is the concept of method overriding so we can say that derived class not only inherit but it can give its own implementation for the methods when derived class override the method of its parent class then the derived method can easily give its implementation means this func method in derived class can have its own implementation the implementation of class a method and class b method can be having the different different implementation so that is the benefit of overriding but we cannot override all the methods if in the parent class method we use the keyword which is not overridable before the method then such methods cannot be overridable so all the methods cannot be overrided if the parent class want that my method should be overrided then parent class must use the overridable keyword whenever the parent class apply this keyword overridable before their function to allow a method to override let us suppose that class a which is the parent want that this func method should be overridable then it will use the keyword overridable there is one more keyword which is overrides when the child class method want to override the parent class method then we use this keyword overrides let us suppose that the child method func want to override the func method of parent then it will use overrides keyword so this keyword overrides is applied before the func method So if we understand the overriding let us suppose that we are having a class A and class B and class B is going to inherit the class A in that case if both classes parent and child are having the func method means the method name is same their arguments are same argument type are same everything is same then this is called the overriding in the overriding derived class can provide its own implementation which is called the overriding that means let us suppose that class a is having the function it is having some of the definition let us suppose a plus b now the same function is available with the class b but that is going to multiply a into b so that is perfectly possible both names are same types are same arguments are same but they are doing the different different tasks that is called the different implementation so that is perfectly possible and one more thing is that all the methods cannot be overrided means it is not possible that all the parent class methods are overridable no if we are using the not overridable keyword before any method in the parent class then that method cannot be overrided and let us suppose that the class a who is the parent want that my method func should be overrided by the child then this overridable keyword will be used so whenever we apply the overridable keyword that means this method is ready and available for overriding so here it is mentioned that parent class method use overridable keyword then it is available for overriding let us suppose that the child class which is b is going to override the 
method which was available into the parent class so here the func method of child class is going to override then we will apply the keyword which is overrides so override keyword says that yes i am going to override you means now my implementation will work your implementation will not work that override meaning is